you've lost weight before, but then you gained it back, didn't you? And then you lost it again. And maybe you gained it back a second time, a third time, fourth time, or if you're anything like me, oh, Uncle E, a fifth time. And it sucks. I get it. I can tell you. Been there, done that. But I want you to know that permanent fat loss for men who keep gaining it back is possible when you have the moral support of other men who beat the same demons and go to battle with you. So in this final video in my first series on getting lean for life, I'm going to introduce you to the principle of resilient structures and why it's the biggest missing link in the journey of permanent fat loss for guys like us. But if you're brand new here, my name is Elliot Hulse. I'm a master's level straw man. That means I'm over 40. I'm a strength coach and I've been making men strong on YouTube since 2007. But in recent years, I let myself go. I got fat. And now I'm bringing you along with me as I get shredded for my comeback. So in previous videos in this series, I taught you about two powerful frameworks for installing simple and sustainable habits for permanent fat loss. The first was the installation framework, which set the stage with micro habits, deep practice, resilient structures, and making a vow. Real quick, micro habits take less than 60 seconds to do, and they stick because they sneak into your subconscious brain totally unperceived. Deep practice changes your brain, like the neural networks in your brain, by doing the same thing over and over again, that deep practice makes you a different person. Then we have resilient structures. We're gonna talk a little bit about that today. This is what keeps you going when things get tough. And then finally, making a vow, because when you get leaner, everyone in your life benefits. The second set of frameworks was the micro habits framework. I call it the alpha body habits. And these give you the automated daily habits of movement, muscle, macros, and metrics. And this final framework contains the four C's of resilient structures that make being lean for life attainable and sustainable. We got commitment, camaraderie, competition, and celebration. But before I break each one of those down, I want to invite you to my free Alpha School program and community where you'll find all the apps, tools, workouts, and meal plans to help you succeed on your path to permanent fat loss absolutely free. You can join us at the link in this video down below. So let's dive in. We got commitment, camaraderie, competition, and celebration. And it's really what we do inside of Alpha School. Alpha School is a resilient structure. So let's break each one of these down by problem, possibility, principle, and path, beginning with commitment. Now, the problem with commitment, I get it, dudes, like you commit before and then you get your heart broken. You commit, you decide to go all in and it just doesn't work out. So you cross your arms, you pout and you say, I'm never committing again. But that's no way to get what you want in life. Sometimes you gotta commit, you gotta break your heart and then you gotta try again. That's the only way we get what we want. We gotta fall down, get back up. Fall down 10 times, get back up 11. So what is the possibility? The possibility with commitment is that you brush off and then you happily commit again knowing that the path can be simple, sustainable, and fun this time. That's like you broke up with a girl and you decide I'm never gonna meet another woman ever again because I broke my heart, not realizing that there may be a girl out there who is actually simple, sustainable, and fun, right? And it's the same thing with anything that we commit to in life. So the principle here is to make a vow. What is a vow? A vow is something that we commit to for the sake of other people. Like I said before, when you get lean, everybody in your life benefits. So the path is inside Alpha School. I ask every new guy to share his vow, his big reason for getting lean for life. And this is what keeps you committed. Number two within the resilient structures framework is camaraderie. And the problem with camaraderie, dudes, I don't know if you're anything like me, you think you could do it on your own. You don't like to ask for help. Maybe it makes you look weak or you just want to do it on your own or you don't want to bother anybody, which once again, if we don't get out of our comfort zone and ask for help or open ourselves up to support, we don't get the things that we want in life because no man is an island, bro. So what's the possibility that you approach permanent fat loss like it's a game that you play with other guys, like a sport, like we work together for, for a final goal. We're all trying to do the same thing. We all make mistakes, we have wins, we have losses, but together we can achieve anything. We're a team, bro. So the principle is straight out of the Bible. Where two or more are gathered in my name, I am there with them. Essentially, when men come together, there's a third party, a divine party. God is there with them. When your intention is pure and you wanna have great things, you're not alone. You're not alone here, you're not alone here. 
the path inside of Alpha School, we foster a spirit of joint mission. We work together and maybe that invites the divine into our practice. Number three, competition. So the problem with competition is that you probably believe the BS about, you know, your only competition is yourself, right? So you don't put yourself out there out of fear of failure. I mean, it's really a cop out. It's a cope. Oh, I only compete with myself. I only compete with my former self. Yeah, but what you don't understand is that the possibility is that men thrive best in hierarchies, which inspires you to reach higher. I know we live in an egalitarian, feminist-focused culture where most of us think in terms of everybody deserving a trophy, but it's not the way it is. In nature, men look up. We aim to do better, and the only way we can know we do better is by looking at other men who are doing better. So the principle is compare yourself to others. Comparison is good. How am I supposed to know how I'm doing if I don't have a scoreboard? If I don't know, hey, I beat that guy and that guy's ahead of me. I gotta keep moving forward and I gotta keep reaching for the sky. Compare yourself, dude. And what we do inside of Alpha School is we conduct transformation contests. We have leaderboards and awards. You know, I think back when I first became a personal trainer, the best I ever did was that I worked for this guy, Neil Habgood, at a gym named Lifestyle Family Fitness in Tampa, Florida, St. Pete. And uh, the great thing about Neil is that every day he put up the scoreboard, every day he let us know who was leading in sales, who was trailing behind, and what your numbers look like. If you're not tracking, you're not training. If you're not paying attention to the scoreboard, there's no reason to reach higher. And then we have number four, celebration. Celebrate your wins, bro. And so the problem with celebration is that you think it's for weaklings. You think celebration is for weak guys, so you never celebrate your wins. You grind. You think, oh, no time to celebrate. I got to keep going. I got to grind. I got to go. I got to keep it rolling, dude. And as a result, you burn out. The possibility is that you celebrate each fat loss victory on your road to lifelong leanness so you never burn out or give up. The principle, celebrating small wins, fuels the fire of desire. You know that if there is a carrot dangling at the end of the stick, you know that if there is a milestone that you can reach for, that that win keeps you moving forward, take a moment and celebrate and then keep on going, bro. But the path, the real path here is that inside Alpha School, we celebrate every 10 pound loss and recognize milestones on the way to our destination. So that's the final framework with resilient structures. It's commitment, camaraderie, competition, and celebration. All are key resilient structures that you need to succeed in an Alpha School. You get all that and more. Click the link down below. I'll see you on the inside, bro.